thing that I deal with all the time and anybody who works in the emergency setting and or the inpatient setting is hostility and aggression associated with schizophrenia. This is a very common occurrence. It can be very difficult to deal with and it can be downright scary if you're another patient on the unit or if you're a staff member working with these patients. So the question becomes, is there a medication choice that we can make that will improve specifically aggression and hostility in the context of somebody who's experiencing an episode of schizophrenia? And there definitely is. And again, here, I feel like I'm so redundant with this, but clozapine stands out again. While clozapine is not FDA approved specifically for the treatment of regression, there is a really strong evidence base and is hard to ignore. Now, in a 12-week randomized controlled trial comparing haloperidol, orlanzapine, and clozapine for assaultive and aggressive behavior, again, clozapine outperformed the other two medications. Now, importantly, this effect is independent from the antipsychotic and sedative effects of clozapine. So we're not talking about somebody who's just being sedated or somebody whose psychosis is being treated. This is reducing that person's aggression and hostility specifically. So this is a unique role in the management of those type of symptoms. No other antipsychotic has matched this track record. And it's probably time for us to start recognizing that clozapine has a role outside of just treatment resistance. While that may be the main indication we've already talked about in previous videos, suicidality, and we're talking about here aggression and hostility and how clozapine can be a real game changer